tell them, what are you shooting on these days? What can what rig are you shooting on? Um, I can grab some stuff. You want to see it on the video? I got all my stuff. If right it's here. handy, yeah. If it's handy and not too yeah, far away, it's right here. We're gonna hey, car folks. Me and Ted are gonna have to nerd out on cameras for a minute. Sorry. Back in the day, I used to like, oh. shoot medium format, and I shot a, on a Mamiya RZ67, which gives you an, a negative that's about uh, six by seven centimeters. Not about exactly six oh, yeah. by seven just, centimeters. Just an awesome thing. When you actually do the uh, the conversion. To how many pixels those were? Oh yeah, it's something like like a hundred and forty pixel image. Yeah, megapixel, one hundred and forty yeah, megapixel yeah, exactly. for medium format. I shot my senior thesis on a Toyo eight by ten, dude. I lugged an eighty five pound wooden camera out to the desert to shoot that shit. What do you got there? This well, because I know you're a watch guy as well, so uh, I picked up the Hoding oh. Ghost Edition Leica M ten P with the thirty five Summerlux. So it's uh it's it's kind of like a ghost gray, and uh, they did a special edition for. I like, like that. It's cool looking. Oh, the strap is cool. Uh, it's like a real rope. It's like a ro a real nice thick rope. That's a bitchin' strap. I really like that. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I put them on all on all my cameras. So I, I got the Q2. Which oh, you, really? I think you, when I first met you, I was shooting the Q1. Now they got the Q2. Does Hodinkee just uh, sell that strap? That rope strap? I think I think Hodinkee might, but you can just also buy it from Leica. Uh, oh, Leica really? Oh, cool. It. All right, awesome. So you're are you a like a guy then? Well, you know you know Matt Jacobson, right? Yeah, Matt Jacobson, uh, famous uh, videographer, cinematographer, worked with Ken Block. Nope. Not nope. that Matt. Ja oh, Matt Jacobson, um, uh, Bird Birdwell Bridges, Matt Jacobson. Exactly. Who the one. fuck was I just he, thinking um, of? Matt Johnson. Matt, Matt sits on the so Matt Matt's like one of my mentors and one of my my biggest heroes. And uh, Matt was one of the guys instrumental at Facebook uh, for buying Instagram. And uh, he's a, a, a lifelong photographer, and he's on the board at Leica. And he uh, ah. and he just he pushed me in a way that I, if he didn't push me to pick up a Leica, I wouldn't be a photographer today. Why um, is it, the camera he, inspired you to be a photographer? When you make that much financial commitment, when you have that little, <laughs> when you have that little resources, you become a fucking photographer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. And that's and that's kind of how I, I've always been in my life is you know I, I get to the point of no return and then I just keep going I guess. Do you um, find the Leica is uh, is that much more special dollar for dollar than uh, the more mid to high end cameras as opposed to the extremely high end camera like that? I don't advise Leica for everybody. Um, Leica really suits the way in which. I see the world and the way in which I seek to capture it. Hmm. And it's a very static way of doing so because the lenses are all uh, prime glass. Right. Know, so they're all, they're all fixed, fixed uh, lenses. So like my 35 millimeter 1.4 is a super fast lens. that can shoot in really low light. Um, but it's a fixed 35. So you've got to be prepared to shoot only at 35 for that day. Does Leica um, not make any zoom? They do, but you know, like a purist, don't fuck with it. Oh. It's, if 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 you're a like a guy, you shoot you shoot fast glass because oh. that's that's why you're doing it. Other, otherwise, if you're shooting at f four, f twelve, there's way better cameras and way cheaper glass that'll do a way better job. Mm. So like as uh, the like like as the nightlife run and gun. That's the thing you can shoot in the nightclub with it because it's the really fast portrait glass, right? Yeah, you can for sure. Uh, and you know, some of the lenses use just technology that was developed like 50, 60 years ago for, for with in, co in collaboration with NASA. So like <laughs> when you get down to that, the, the 0.95 uh, aperture level, you're talking about a piece of glass that costs like seven grand. Yeah, yeah. And and they also make incredible cinema lenses. So, OK, so the best camera always is the one that's with you. I, I use my iPhone 80% of the time it feels like yeah um, but for whatever reason Leica is not a good camera it's it's a piece of shit camera it's a, it's a it's an old camera with new technology inside of it uh-huh and it's all manual focus the whole thing like this is how you focus it, it it's a camera from the 1920s that has a sensor from you know 2015 in it. But what's for whatever reason the combination of that 1920s aesthetic that makes you take your time and really think about what you're doing. It, it for it slows my brain down, which is really ADD, and it, it allows me to almost just stop time in that moment and just really think about it. And I just take chunk. I take yeah. one frame. Yeah. 
Now, if you talk to Larry Chen about the way he shoots, he he's doing 10,000 frames a day. Yeah, he does. He I, shoots I, the I'll, grids, too. I love what Larry does is crazy because he'll basically turn his giant frame into an enormous uh, like Jeopardy game board squares, big like squares. Yeah. He breaks it down into like 100 squares and he'll go he'll shoot in rows and he creates and the grid it, wow. and stitches it together it's fucking yeah. nuts and that's how the picture of my Countach is 120 megapixels because it's all exactly. these 30 megapixels like stuck together it's that's fucking cool. crazy but like what ted's that's, talking about I, is so satisfying though what no what you're talking about when you hit that click and then you immediately one click back to life right mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's also, people act very differently around this object because the object looks, you, you saw it the second I held it to the camera, you go, ooh, what is that? Yeah, yeah. It is, it's an intriguing looking object. It looks friendly. It looks old. It has such a great vibe and a great energy that especially when I'm around people, you know, let, let's call it people like Bruce Meyer, people that are like, you know, big collectors that are typically lens shy or typically like just don't like, they don't like to put themselves out there. Mm. Nine times out of ten, if I'm photographing in these environments like I was for Petrolicious or like I've been for other clients and before Type 7 and, and now since, people just open up in a, in a way that I've never seen before. But when, when you see Larry Chen come through with that massive fucking rig, it's a little bit like, whoa, okay, paparazzi. Like, I thought we were friends. You know, like <laughs> He was a paparazzi. Did you know that? Did you just say that yeah, by he, accident or he, you knew that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. yeah. I'm, I'm a huge fan of his. I'm, I'm, I'm a... I'm a the one thing you have to know about me is I'm a fan of every photographer that I meet because I learned so much from each of them. So I found my weird little style that works for me. It's comically cost prohibitive. It's expensive to the point where I'm forced to use my gear. I think if I, if I had cheap gear, I, I might find reasons not to use it. Yeah. Uh, but now it's like, I'm looking at like a significant investment that I have to go recoup. Are you shooting? You're not shooting so, film. Are you, are you going to shoot film? Yeah, yeah, I've got my M6 right here. Oh, there you go. What film are you shooting right now? Uh, what do I have in here right now? I've got 400. I've got, uh, what is my 400 I'm shooting right now? I Well, I haven't shot anything in like two months. So this, that oh, would be. Uh, you got to do your like daily houseboat sunset. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm doing with my film camera. My film camera is sitting right next to my balcony. And just all I'm just doing is getting a sunset every day. I, I, I bought an old Pentax K1000. Oh, yeah. Like it was like camera. literally the camera I had when I was like 13. And I bought the camera for 90 bucks. It cost me 300 to service it. It took six months. And uh, and I took it to Tahiti and I shot Velvia 50. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. The positive film, the richness of it was just, it was so addictive. And that click clack. Oh, I love it. The fucking shutter I on do, that. The sound of a Leica film camera as well. Uh, I, I had a girlfriend once who described it as the, um, as the audible embodiment of slicing off a piece of time it, it, it sounds like you know you, you take a words. sausage like a ka-chunk yeah, and yeah, you yeah, use yeah. a machete and it just chops off from the sausage that's those are good words i was gonna say if you really want someone to like open up to your camera you gotta pull out like a hasselblad or something where you look down <laughs> when you, if yeah. you're not something even where, looking at them and you're looking where you're the <laughs> Where you, you're the least threatening position possible. <laughs> yeah, where you're under a hood like in a bellows. Yeah. Like. It, look, it, it looks like you're trying to hold your third breast from Blade Runner. 